In this section, I'm going to show you how to use the App Store search suggestions to find new keywords for your app. So technically, you have multiple ways to uh, search for applications. You can search for them in iTunes on your computer, or you can search on the device itself. So here, I'm going to show you both of them. Uh, what's important here for this exercise is to use the device only and not uh, not the, not your computer. The reason being is that when you go in iTunes on your computer, if I type yoga, it's actually searching not only for applications, even if I selected App Store ahead of time, it's, uh, it's searching for all categories, which means movies, uh, music, apps, everything. But if I if I go to, sorry, if I go to my device, and I'm searching for uh, yoga here. I'm gonna. It's gonna. It's gonna give me suggestions just for the uh, for just for the app itself. So you see, if I tap this, and if I tap that, we have we have different different results. So it's important to use the device and not and not iTunes to to do this exercise. I'm going to close that one. So first I'm going to be starting the App Store. Going to the search tab. Now one of my keyword is yoga, the main one. So I'm going to type yoga here. As you can see, the App Store app is suggesting other keywords like I have yoga, yoga free, yoga studio, yoga for beginners. So all those words, I really pay attention to them because you hear yoga pauses, yoga workout. Reason why they're important is that Apple is showing us the words related to yoga that are the most search. And what's happening is when people are entering some of the terms instead of, instead of continuing typing what they had in mind, they're going to look at this list and, and maybe select from that list. So right now I can already add, so free, if my app is free, uh, yoga studio, I don't know what it is, so we'll look it up, yoga for be uh, beginners, weight loss, pauses, so I had workouts and exercises, I didn't have pauses, so that's one good to, to add, and as you can see, pauses is even um, higher ranked in the search right now than yoga workout. So I want to really keep that one. And I have like other ones, yoga glow and yoga works. So maybe there are other application names that are related here. Now to continue the search, I'm going to enter some of the top terms. Yoga free is very high. So I'm going to type space free. And here I have more suggestions. So here I can see yoga free video classes, core yoga free. So these are maybe other application name. So here, each time I'm typing something, my list of keywords is growing. So now I'm done with the uh, yoga free. I'm gonna go back to the top yoga term and I have yoga, st uh, yoga studio. Let's see what it is. If I set a yoga studio, You see, as you can see, this is an application. That's the name of an application, and uh, it, from what I see, it's a popular one because despite despite the fact that it's four dollars, it got seven thousand reviews. So it's probably very very popular in the uh, in the yoga space. So, so what it, what it tells me is that, and if it's suggested at the top by Apple, is that there are probably a lot of people who know about this application from outside and now searching for, for this app. So studio, uh, is a, even though it's not a term related to yoga necessarily, it, it, it's sh it should be a, a keyword I, c I should consider um, because as people are searching for yoga studio, it will, be, it will be a good thing to be ranked in this list. And as you can see from the search, there are 236 results. So it's not like thousands and thousands like, like we can have just for yoga term alone. Another thing to notice here too are related keywords. 
as you can see on the top of the screen I have related keywords like yoga for beginners yoga workout and I can move them to the left and I have more Atha yoga stretch so this one stretch was one of oops was one of the keywords that I listed in my brainstorming session flexibility also yoga trainer light so all of those are uh, keywords and keyword phrases that the app store is showing to the users in order to maybe go do a more granular search and what happens is that those are very good for ASO because some people will also touch those keywords uh, instead of typing them and so they should be uh, uh, really considered for uh, for ASO and, and, and add it to our list. So let's look at other terms suggested for yoga. I have yoga. So let's look at workout. So one thing you'll notice is that even if workout yoga workout is suggested, I could I could touch it. But if I do that, I'm going to start the search and get a list of applications. Instead, I prefer um, typing the words there there this way I can see what uh, other suggestions I get from from the search so I have yoga workout oops so workout workouts so here if I go down lower I have other applications like seven minute yoga workout so 15 minutes to so maybe the word minute will be uh, a good one to add in addition to workout as some people may search for this type of application too. Let's look at more suggested keywords that are come up coming up after yoga. I'm tapping yoga again. So yoga yoga for beginners, so let's see. It's probably an app. So you see as I as I type four, I have yoga for beginners, weight loss for kids, for runners, even for sex, mama, surfing, insomnia, back pain. So as you can see, the more, the more um, words you're typing in a search, the more, uh, the more suggestions you're gonna get. So this is, this is a great way to discover new keywords. Another word that I. Uh, wrote on paper was stretching so let's see what comes up for, for stretching so if I type stretching I have stretching and flexibility let's see what it is so that's that's a that's a yoga app stretching and flexibility learn to stretch without yoga uh, without yoga performance stretching so here again I have more yoga related uh, keywords that I can find now let's type yoga again just to see the list of application this time so yoga studio is number one then I have daily yoga lose weight get get relief so daily maybe an, uh, a good keyword to add weight relief pocket yoga depends on how popular this this app is simply yoga so it's always good to look at the the list of applications return to because you you you'll see what are the uh, the keywords they are they are using from the app name itself but I, uh, I'll show you using ASO tools how you can find out all the keywords they're using and related search stretch relaxing music relax and sleep brain waves not as relevant health so daily workouts so not all the terms will be related to yoga but they are it's 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 good to search and, and find more so as you can see just by typing the type of keywords you already had in mind in the search you, you can really find new keywords and add them to your list and later on using an ASO tool to uh, to see whether you're going to have a chance to a chance to to rank for them and whether they're going to bring you enough traffic to to your app